Hey guys, my name is Josh. I'm the social media manager here at Hardhead Veterans. And today I want to introduce you guys to the micro lattice helmet pad system and talk a little bit about the science. First and foremost, we need to talk about what they do that increases protection. So first of all, the structures, which we're going to have some close ups of them here in a second, uh, they decrease back face deformation by up to 66%. They also decrease blunt impact acceleration by up to 21.7% and provide the wearer with greater airflow, keeping the helmet an average of 14 degrees cooler. That's in Fahrenheit, not Moose. So since we released these a couple months ago, we've been getting a ton of questions on social media about them. And we wanted to put this video together to explain the science and give you guys as much information as absolutely possible. This is going to make my life easier as a social media manager because I can just refer this video to you guys when you jump in the inbox and ask. And it's also going to make your life easier because the blog post we have written about this is pretty long. So since we're talking about 3D printing and these pads, let's, let's start back at the beginning in 1981, which by the way, is the same year the band Pantera was formed. 3D printing has been revolutionized since 1981 when it first started. Over the years, technology has progressed. And since that progression has been happening, 3D printing companies have been able to improve their manufacturing process and they've made a ton of engineering breakthroughs in the process. The latest breakthrough in the technology is what I mentioned right at the beginning of the video. And that is the process known as digital light synthesis or DLS for short. It has been produced primarily by a company called Carbon. So digital light synthesis is a process, uh, a breakthrough process in resin based 3D printing that uses digital light projection, oxygen permeable optics and engineering grade materials to produce polymeric parts with exceptional mechanical properties. As the manufacturing techniques have improved an effective practical helmet padding has become available. And that is what you're seeing here. These pads make impacts to the head far less intense and they prevent possible injuries and make them far less severe. So if you're asking yourself, what the heck is a micro lattice? What is this guy talking about? I don't blame you. It's a fairly new engineering concept. And uh, I'm going to try to break it down into layman's terms for you and make it as easy to digest as possible. So a micro lattice is almost entirely made of air. In fact, some of the material consists of 0.01% actual solid matter. Each micro lattice consists of an interconnected network of microscopic tubes and struts surrounded by empty space. These materials are very, very light that make up the actual pads themselves. The struts consist of metals, elastic polymers, or, you know, other substances. There's not really a limit to it. Regardless of the material, there's simply so little of it that the overall weight will always remain incredibly low. A micro lattice recently developed by the aerospace firm Boeing now holds the record for the lightest structural material ever made. The new micro lattice peds at Hardhead Veterans are made of polymers, which makes them as light as practically possible. But this is where things get interesting for micro lattices. They offer a lot more than just lower weights. The diverse geometrics that you find in these pads are often inspired by the structures of naturally forming crystals, which makes them ideal for use in energy dissipation, heat absorption, vibrations, and impact absorption. It might be easiest to just think that micro lattices are a super architecture on an incredibly small scale. But what does that mean for you, the person wearing a set of our micro lattice pads on top of your head every single day? The short version, you're wearing some of the most technologically advanced helmet pads that currently exist. The old foam pads you were wearing throughout the global war on terror, or maybe when you were doing law enforcement work back in the 1990s are absolutely obsolete when you compare it to these. Now let's get into the slightly longer version instead of the too long didn't watch. Helmets are designed to protect users in two primary ways during a collision. First, they prevent penetration of the scalp and skull. Second, they're designed to distribute the force of blunt impacts to make other injury types less severe. We're talking TBI, we're talking, you know, anything where your brain is going to bleed. To accomplish the second objective, helmets utilize impact absorbing pads. In the past, foam has been the go-to material for this for a very long time. Foam has made helmet padding inexpensive and relatively effective at the same time. The offerings have evolved dramatically over the years, however. Ingenious combinations of materials, such as those seen in our helmet technology, effectively and comfortably resist impacts, but challenges still remain. Many foam padding systems are designed too stiffly, 
It's a problem that can make impacts on the brain far worse. Concussions still remain difficult to prevent and to detect. This is why we took the leap of faith into the world of micro lattices in the first place. We wanted to design a micro lattice helmet padding system that could effectively protect the wearer against those problems that we just talked about. We've seen and even felt the impacts of traumatic brain injury firsthand. In fact, TBI is one of the reasons we've had to do so many takes on this video. We knew that there had to be a better way moving forward, a way to prevent these types of injuries from happening to an entirely new generation of warfighters and law enforcement officers. That's why we partnered with Carbon in the first place to develop the micro helmet padding system. And so far, the results have been astonishing. The helmet pads you're seeing in front of me are the first generation from Hardhead Veterans. We sent them to the National Technical Systems Labs and they underwent a series of tests to assess their performance. The first set of tests we put them up against were the blunt impact tests following ARPD 10 tag 2 revision A. To test back face deformation, the helmet with micro lattice pads is placed on top of a dummy clay form head and shot with 9mm rounds at the crown, the right side, the left side, the front, and the back of the helmet. The average back face signature, how far the helmet deformed into the clay form, was only 4.41 millimeters. That's a 66.7% improvement over the 13.2 millimeter average of a helmet using standard foam pads. A report recently produced under the Department of Defense contract recommends exploring micro lattice use in advanced combat helmets. The researchers' preliminary tests confirm that the material outperforms state-of-the-art foams currently found in your ACH style helmets or from other companies. It reduces the collision force transmitted to the wearer by as much as 20%. Similar to the performance of the Hardhead Veteran's new micro lattice pads that we just talked about. So it kind of confirms the data there if you see what I'm saying. Micro lattice padding system stays durable through multiple impacts and performs better in temperature extremes. Better still, these micro lattices provide greater airflow and comfort. A big plus for anyone who's worn a helmet for an extended period of time. Those of you who have sat in the defense for a couple of days when it's 110 degrees know exactly what I'm talking about. Comfort has a great impact on your tactical endurance and you'll find in our new micro lattice padding system, you'll be able to wear your helmet for a much longer period of time without feeling any fatigue. Pads that are too hot or too hard have been reported as problems with prior ACH designs and may contribute to headgear being worn less often than it should be. But because micro lattices consist largely of air, they can be designed with comfort in mind. So the helmets can be designed with comfort in mind, resulting in head protection that is far easier to wear and will be worn more often by the soldiers standing their post. Hardhead Veterans micro lattice pads are light, they conform to the wearer's head, and they enable airflow that keeps your head 14 degrees cooler. And I think we can all just say that that's a plus. The micro lattice pads from Carbon and us are a tremendous innovation that can reduce head injuries and keep wearers cooler and more comfortable. And the future of this technology is even more exciting. There are possible design avenues for reducing back face deformation and increasing blunt impact protection even more. Some researchers believe that the architectural degrees of freedom offered by micro lattice pad technology may one day provide a way to definitively address the issues in brain injury prevention. Notably, the tricky problem of concussions. So as we move together into the future of protecting the warfighter and the law enforcement professional's head, stay tuned. We're only just getting started with this technology and it's only going to get better from here.